So how do you ring it? Well, we need to introduce you to just a little more theory. When you are ringing rounds, the time between successive rows is approximately 2 seconds. So if you divide this into 6, the gap between each successive bell is roughly a third of a second. So if your bell is staying still, as in rounds, your bell is striking every 2 seconds. But if it's moving up a place, there are 7 gaps, which means it's striking every 2 and a third seconds. And if it's moving down a place, it's striking every 1 and 2 thirds of a second, which is quite an abrupt change of speed. This theory is known as the three basic speeds of ringing. This piece of theory is very useful because if you know what it feels like to move up a place or down a place or stay still, it's exactly the same whether you're moving from first to seconds, seconds to thirds or fourths to fifths place. It's still the same. So after the conductor says go, you ring a slow handstroke and backstroke to get into thirds place, a quicker handstroke to stay in thirds place, then you ring a quick backstroke and handstroke to get yourself down to the front, and don't forget to pull the handstroke slightly harder so that you then stay still at lead. And that will be all. If you're ringing this on six bells, the other bells stay still.